this is a momentous moment. My order for Bali has arrived. This is some skills. I didn't think these were gonna come in time, so today is the best day ever. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, we are going to Bali on Wednesday. It is Monday. I have not packed. We booked the flights a week ago, and on top of that, I am going to attempt to do this trip and luggage only. You're laughing, aren't you? Yeah, basically all of my friends have also been laughing at me. No one believes that I can do it. As much as I love proving people wrong, I am not Delulu enough to also have blind faith in myself. So this is just gonna be a fun social experiment. So I've ordered minis, I've ordered mini pots. I got special things so that I don't have to take a tripod. I got a smaller suitcase because I don't actually have a, a hand luggage size suitcase there were so many things that i i've never i've really i can't tell you the last time i flew hand luggage only so i am unprepared and i also can't imagine an 18 hour flight it's like 18 hours of flying in total we are doing one stopover we were originally going to kind of hop around but that was before ryan proposed now i'm just like trying to make all the budgets work and taking three weeks to like go traveling is not on the cards at the busiest time of the year work-wise for both of us so we've had to rejig the Bali trip we aren't going for like a super long time but I think we're going to get to enjoy some time in Bali see some friends this trip is a Ryan work trip but I am just tagging along I am paying to tag along all of that kind of stuff Bali has always been on my bucket list so as much as I could choose to not travel across the world at the busiest point of the year there was no way I was not because it's just it's so fun it's barley it's been on my bucket list for years so we are doing it and although i am stressed in an attempt to hype myself up i naturally ordered some new things monday swim is one of my favorite brands for like beach wear summer stuff i just love them and it's hard finding things when you're going away and getting winter sun because it's you're buying things unseasonally and i didn't really need much but there were a few things i'd have my eye on and i was like I'm gonna wear them on so many occasions, but I'm just gonna pick them up a little bit earlier than I probably would have and get some wear out of them in Bali. So without further ado, here's what I bought. Firstly, we have this long knitted dress. I'm hoping the length is going to be okay on me. If you watched our Ibiza vlog, you will recognize this kind of texture. I have this dress in like the mini dress. It has a little collar, really, really sweet. And I loved, the long dress version and I thought I'd pick it up for Bali. Perfect kind of vibe, I think, I hope. I mean, I've never been, but I've asked all of my friends that go to Bali a lot what they recommend and they were basically like bikinis on bikinis on bikinis. So stunning, my vibe. But I also picked up some bits I thought could be really nice to fly in. So we'll see, I'm hoping they look good. We have this little knitted trouser set was i dumb in thinking that i could wear a knitted trouser maybe slightly delulu there too but it also comes with a matching jumper and it just looks so nice and it's very much my vibe so we've got the matching knitted jumper oh that's so nice and it's a nice like thickness it's not too it's not like winter thick like i'm wearing a similar ecru jumper right now but it's much more I don't actually know what the material of this is, but it feels a lot more like soft and snuggly, whereas this feels like cotton and breathable. And that is what I want when I'm gonna be on a flight for a long time. So I'm really hoping those look cute because that will be my travel outfit sorted. I also picked up this really cute bucket hat. I've been told by many people to protect my hair from the heat of the sun in bali like it's quite strong apparently i've ordered like a hair spf but in addition to that i thought it would be quite good to maybe get a hat and i've ordered it in this wonderfully practical color and hopefully this will go nicely with the bikini i got as well but also maybe look cute with the long dress too we'll see i love a bucket hat this looks so wrong with the knitted jumper that i'm wearing right now but love me a bucket hat so much this is the kind of stuff that makes me like yes can't wait to go get me there right now which might feel sad to some people but 
whatever whatever gets me going as an anxious traveler to be honest i really like these pouches that the bikinis come in i'm definitely going to use these for packing that is actually very handy so i have this in black i thought i'd pick it up in the kind of ivory color as well i thought it would look lovely under the long dress but also with the bucket hat i got it in a size small i think i got my top my other top in a small as well so I'm hoping it fits well I've got the bottom these are the same bottoms that i also have in the black <laughs> so cute the bottoms that they do are really nice just very very comfy super flattering then i also picked up a swimsuit in black with the ivory trim this is so stunning so classic so timeless i am obsessed this has been on my list to buy for so long and i finally saw it in stock so this had to go in the basket as well and i not only wanted it for this trip and because it's like super super timeless and everything like that but i also have a theme night a theme night a theme day for my hendu that this is on the mood board for so i had to pick it up so yeah super excited about that this is just going to be gorgeous with like a sarong but i think it will also look gorgeous with just like a pair of trousers a pair of linen trousers that i'm going to take with me so i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this i'm so excited to try all of these bits on and then i also did a little miss porte order this has actually got stuff in that's not for bali so i will show you that when i'm back from bali i don't have time to go through everything right now it's actually quite late on in the day i've just finished filming a mammoth coat haul which will be live on my channel already if you haven't taken a look go and check it out i've just finished filming that and cleaning up the tornado of mess that i create when i do things like that so we are running low on time i literally have just over 24 hours until we leave for bali so pray for me but yeah to finish my story i actually don't know i think i got a bit sidetracked we've scaled back on our travel i can't get this undone please bear with me we've scaled back on our travel for bali so we're not doing we were going to do a stop in singapore which is a place where we've both always wanted to go we are going to fly straight to dubai and then go straight on from there like immediately to bali doing it all in one go it's like 18 hours total travel i may turn into a feral being en route i can't remember the last time I think the only flight that has ever come close to that is when I went to Costa Rica in 2016 and it was so bad for me. I had a full on anxiety breakdown like not long after that and I think it was triggered by the fact that I'd done so much travel in such a short space of time and that long haul really I remember that trip really taking it out of me like travel is wonderful and i will never not be grateful for it but i have to really take care of myself when i travel so i am a little bit nervous for this set of flights but i'm sure we'll be all good what is all of this what did i buy oh my god it's so cute so envision this with just a nice pair of linen trousers from Hinza G so one size I love their swimwear it's that keep forever kind of swimwear it expands and shrinks along with your body and I love that and I've wanted this one piece literally all summer it's just so cute so timeless I love a one shoulder as well best of both worlds I'm also just gonna pinch a skims top out of this order because I think this tank will be really nice worn with the knitted two piece so we're gonna take that with me as well but yes the rest of that will be coming when we get back from bali the one thing i'm really sad about with bali although not sad because it would have been a bit weird but <laughs> i am really sad victoria and alex are literally coming like we're we're gonna be crossing over in the air and i don't think we would have been near each other anyway like in terms of like bali's not really that small not like ibiza small if that makes sense so i don't think we would have got to have seen each other anyway but it's just really sad that we're literally going to be crossing over in the air but we just happen to have had bali trips around the same time that are like completely separate but we're not going to be able to see each other and sad but also not sad because i don't want to crash their honeymoon because that's that's weird i think that's a little bit weird I'm sure they wouldn't mind but it's a little bit weird i hate when this happens when you have a little snag in your nail and you just get attached to things oh i need to do them i desperately need to do my nails i just have so little time before we go I just spent the weekend watching life on our planet and not doing anything particularly helpful to myself 
apart from wedding planning. UK wedding is a go. I'm in the middle of starting to plan that one. So the girl's busy. I love these little pouches. That is so useful. I feel like Amelia would love these. She puts all of her clothing into like little clear pouches. Like how cool. I love that. You don't get this when you order Monday Swim from Selfridges. So just a little note in case you were thinking about buying from them. Okay, let's try things on. I also have another dress that I bought that I'm so excited to show you. It's so cool. I think I'm going to wear it for Ryan's show. Fingers crossed. I'm not going to be too hot in it, but it's so nice. Look at this. How amazing is this? This is from Realization Par, which is such a throwback. If you've been watching my channel for years, you'll know I used to love their dresses. I would wear their wrap style dresses and they were such a go-to for me. They don't really suit me anymore. They're a bit too girly. I don't know. They just, they don't really suit me. And I wasn't really into their more like slip style dresses at the time when I was still buying from them, but the florals had stopped suiting me and I was a bit like, mm, I just stopped ordering from them. But I have been seeing this dress everywhere and I love it. I love it. So I decided to pick this up. It is honestly so nice and it's so lightweight as well. So I've seen a lot of people wearing it in the UK as like an evening dress, but I've also seen people wearing it on vacays as well. So you'll probably be able to tell why I was like, I hope I'm not going to be too hot in this, but it is so lightweight. And I think even just for a small amount of time in the evening, I'm hoping I will be okay. I really don't know what to wear to like look nice in a place that is so humid so we'll see ignore the mess this is this is real time trying on this is so cute though in case you don't see this the day we travel because i don't know if i can manage an outfit that early on wednesday morning in case you don't see it this is what the little knitted set looks like on i love it i think i will get so much wear out of this just throughout the winter months just at home it's so comfortable it doesn't feel too soft and too fluffy that it's going to catch on everything it's just it's perfect it's so perfect the length on the trousers is really good i am wearing them quite high-waisted but you can wear them lower down if you want and if i want i could also roll them down once as well but i'm happy to just when i'm flying wear them like mega mega high-waisted and i'll probably pop on a pair of trainers i think i'm going to try and take one pair of trainers and a pair of sliders, I think. I think that's all I'm going to try and take. So this will work really well with either my sliders or my trainers. I'm so happy with it. Thank you, it fits. However, don't know if I'm gonna take the skims top with me because I'm just not sure if the color combo works well. Sorry if you can hear weird sounds. Nala's like trying to wiggle her way around cardboard. I don't know if this is a bit too yellow. So I'd actually be more inclined to wear like a gray top. I don't know where my gray tank has gone. Don't know where it's gone. So TBC, not sure what vest top I'm going to wear underneath. I might wear it just as a backup in case I get hot on the plane, but I can't think of a time when I've ever been warm on a plane. Most times the complete opposite absolutely freezing this is the dress it fits the length is actually like really perfect i'm so happy with it i don't know if it goes with like the ivory tone of the swimsuit i'm not 100 however oh by the way this it has a low scoop back and you can wear it the other way around if you like as well which i think is really cool but i also got sent this bikini <laughs> this bikini <laughs> has a lot of string from i think it's like capella capella uh, Kapala Swim in this gorgeous electric blue, which could be really nice underneath, or I could wear my, my black Monday Swim bikini as well, which looks really cool. I also have an orange, so we have options. I definitely feel like it's more of a cool tone than the shorter version that I have though, so I'm definitely going to keep that in mind when I'm styling it. But just to show you in terms of the length, so it literally just hits my ankles. It will probably drop a little bit more as well. These kind of crochet knitted maxi dresses or midi dresses kind of do tend to drop, I find. So I have my yellow one, which I love. And when I first put it on after it's been crumpled up, it fits perfectly. And then after like a few minutes of walking around, it's like super long. So I'll see how this one goes, but I think the length of it at the moment is just really perfect. And it will still be fine if it drops a little bit. It's also got really nice 
wide sleeves just really cute i really like stuff like this and we are actually going to be in bali over the point in the month where i generally tend to feel very bloaty and gross so any and all cover-ups are massively going to be appreciated on this trip i think so yeah this is just going to be super cute and i can just throw it on over loads of stuff like i could just take this and then swap out the different colored bikinis underneath i mean i like to have options and switch things up so i probably won't but if i really wanted to go for it with the hand luggage only i could just do bikinis and then like one maybe two cover-ups so we'll see i didn't pick this bikini it just turned up in my po box but i can't lie i actually really like it not my kind of thing at all it's very stringy i mean i don't love my tan lines like they are ridiculous as you can see like there's a lot of string going on at the back i wasn't really sure if it was my kind of thing however i love it i also just love the color the electric blue is such a vibe let me see if i can show you yeah The electric blue so cool love it so really enjoying that combo actually i'm definitely going to take this bikini away with me i also feel like bali is like quite especially where we're staying it's quite a fun place like a bit of a party area so i think like the electric blue actually isn't that out of place so yeah i'm gonna take this with me oh my god no not that <laughs> it's so cute i'm dying i know everyone has their own feelings on bucket hats but I just love it. I think especially when it matches with a bikini set. I just, it's so fun. Yeah, this is the life that I want to be living on holiday. Like this, this is the kind of stuff that gets me really excited for holiday. I can kind of like picture myself there. And I think when you have anxiety, that is like the best way to get over flight anxiety is like forward thinking and imagining yourself on the other end. So you know why you're doing this love a bucket hat to hype me up basically so i think this might be a bit smart for bali but the fit is so nice i am going to love this outside of bali i think especially for the hindu plan that i had like i think this is going to be so nice i love the back love like the cut on the leg it's so nice very very flattering this area on the boob like the way it sits the way it cinches you in gorgeous also has adjustable straps as well i just love monday swimwear like it's just really feels really well made and you can adjust a lot of their stuff to your body length like with the adjustable shoulders which i just love but yeah i actually think this might be i don't know i feel like it's a bit too dressy i think i should be going somewhere a little bit more glam to wear this i don't know maybe i'll take it with my sarong and that might casual it down with like sunnies hair in like a messy bun what do we think or is that just too too much i do not know but yeah everything else coming with me so oh my gosh this is so cute this is a little bit more what i wanted the monday swim black swim costume to be giving it's like that monochrome vibe but it's relaxed enough that it doesn't feel too smart i really like it yes okay amazing i'm thinking this with these sunnies wow these need a clean just to add like that fun playfulness dress it up a little bit or i can just be a real minimalist girly and just pack like one pair of this one pair of sunglasses and then my prescription sunnies these are cute actually like this could work this is a vibe i think these are going to be really good sunglasses for bali because they're like relaxed vintagey they're a little bit effortless they're not too polished but the gold still gives it like something i don't know so yeah that is my last swimsuit this also if you have a longer body than me i have hoiked this right up but it has so much material so again one that's great whether you have a long body or a short body and then we have the dress i am so so obsessed with this i think it maybe is going to need taking up by like an inch at the bottom just to stop it like fully dragging on the ground like i want it to be just like touching covering my feet but not touching the ground unless i take heels with me however i think i need to get a better grip on my packing situation before i do that because really ideally we would not be packing a third pair of shoes especially not a pair of heels that i'm literally going to wear with one dress so tbc on that but it's just such a stunning dress 
I love it. Just fits so, so nicely. I get why all the girlies are wearing it. I've seen it so much on Instagram. It's so cool. I just absolutely love it. I'm like, what is, is this animal print? Is this a tree? What is, I don't know what's going on, but I am obsessed. I love it. I love the sleeves. It's just such a gorgeous dress. So I'm hopefully going to wear it to Ryan's show. I think it will just be a really fun one. And I think it's very much like the kind of Bali vibes that I wanted to go for. So yeah, obsessed with this. And that was a very successful order. I'm proud of myself. I'm just gonna pack all of this. And I think that might actually be all that I need. Like I've got enough swim costumes, got the cover up. I maybe just need another cover up, some trousers and a shirt and I am good to go. Stunning. Okay, so I feel like we've got there. I'm gonna pop to my house and just grab a couple more bikinis, but I've packed a white pair of shorts to literally pair with all of the bikinis. I've got my cover up. I'm gonna grab my other cover up I think as well, which is really like lightweight and small, so shouldn't take up too much space. I might also grab just like a gym set, like my orange Adenola one that's just like shorts and a little tox. So I'm gonna wear my Converse to the airport so I can have a little active wear look if I want that. And then, yeah, I've got, I'm gonna take my laptop just in case of emergencies. I literally can't leave the country without this. And then I've got this bag, which I am going to take with me. And I think this will be useful for when we're like in the airport. I can take this out of the case and just kind of have easy access to like my main things I need. I've also packed my tote bag just in case the fact that this is like 0.5 centimeters over the allowance if just in case that's not okay I can put as much as I can in this bag and then I've got makeup like powder makeup and then like tech bits that I need and then my liquids can't go anywhere without my soul de Janeiro body spray and then I also threw in my Givenchy concealer because I actually just it makes my skin look so good and if I'm going foundation free I always feel really confident if I've got that concealer. So yeah, that is what I'm packing in my case and I'm not gonna have a problem shutting this at all. I'm, I think I've done something wrong, if I'm honest. If I have, we'll be finding out very, very soon because I will be back with you tomorrow morning, bright and early for our flight. <laughs> I don't feel human anymore. Brain capacity, zero. I have slept through pretty much the entire first day that we had free here, so that's good. I can't even tell you how long I slept for last night. I think it might have been over 12 hours, 13, 14 hours, I'm not even sure. Surprisingly, my skin made it through the flight fairly well, apart from one point where I woke up and my face was so swollen from so much flying that I thought I must be having an allergic reaction to something. I was that puffy. Like, you know in Hitch when Will Smith has the allergic reaction to, is it fish? I looked like that. But we're doing this anyway because it's nice to have good skin. <laughs> you can actually take off both sides to this so that it's clear, but I just think you look terrifying either way so does it really matter whether it's clear or not if anything at least this way you look like you're wearing a face mask whereas if you make it clear it looks a bit like you know when you use like halloween what is that stuff called you know when you're wearing like special effects makeup it looks like that it's such a liquidy mask so my whole body is getting moisturization the sheet is covered with the stuff so full body serum situation I'm gonna look nice and glowy first masks hands down literally been using these when i fly for years but i actually i don't wear them on flights anymore <laughs> it's so hard to talk with this on i need to like hold it here i don't wear them on flights anymore because i actually feel like it dries my skin out more i did my skincare routine before the flight when did, when did we leave wednesday <laughs> it's now friday and i literally didn't touch it again until we got off the plane and got here yesterday and yeah my skin has bounced back surprisingly well i thought i'd test it because i always used to do skincare on a flight and i understand what the people are saying now it just keeps living <laughs> we actually did go out for dinner last night we managed to like leave 
to eat food. We went to the nicest little sushi place. I mean, TBC. I don't know if Bali Belly is going to kick in and if it might ruin whatever I last ate forever. So I have that fear. But in the moment, it was very, very, very good sushi. Like, I would like to go back there again. I had a really nice salad, weirdly. I know. I know. Who is she? Yeah, really nice salad that had, like, pumpkin and, like, seeds and kale. And it was really yummy. I had a little, like one of the cone seaweed cone things it was delicious it had mint in it i've never had mint in sushi before but it was so nice i had a lot of sushi some of which is in the fridge now and i'm i don't know if i'm brave enough to eat it but we did have to bring a box home with us because there was so much it was so yummy as always i will try and link everywhere we go in the info box for you so that you have a little mini itinerary but we're not here for very long so i don't know how much of a changu itinerary you're going to get off of me but we shall see we shall see how long do i need to leave this mask on for 10 to 15 minutes that's a long time for me to be readjusting this for i feel like i need to lie down as someone that has the self-esteem issues i'd ha i have you'd wonder why i would appear on camera like this and I don't have an answer to that. Why did I think this was a good idea? Will I regret this? Potentially. Is that Mike Myers? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Seven minutes until she's a 10 again. Or until I don't look like a serial killer. Be right back. Oh, that's so good. Are we glowy? It's hard to tell in this light. And then we rub the excess in. Clay Depot Magic Cream. Change of location, because Ryan needs a shower, so he's Oh, that's nice and quiet. I've been moved outside because Ryan is really paranoid that you can see him showering. You can't, but he's really worried. So we're out here and it is so warm. It is wild. It's wild to have gone from the cold that we were feeling in the UK to this. Like my body is not. When we got off the airplane, I was like, what? SPF, very necessary. Oh my God, my skin is so glowy. Literally, brought it half the way across the world with me. My hands are so moisturized now, I can't get the lid off. We're going minimal makeup today. I'm literally just gonna put some concealer on, do my brows. But I just wanted to feel a little bit alive again after the past like 48 hours. So I brought two concealers. I brought my Givenchy concealer and the NARS creamy concealer. This one is probably gonna be the best one for me whilst I'm here because it's matte. Hopefully it will stick a little bit better. Okay, we need to blend a bit better. Wow. Oh my god. This is how humid it is. <laughs> I can't actually see myself in the mirror. <laughs> wow. Also, Brian doesn't know. I'm literally getting close to the camera in case he can hear me. Brian doesn't know that his friend who is traveling at the moment is coming out to meet us and i've actually given him like the hotel details and everything so he's going to i think it's today he's checking in to this hotel so i'm hoping we'll get that surprise you get to see it with me i think it's gonna be so cute it's one of his like oldest best friends he hasn't seen him in ages and he also wants to ask him to be i think it's a groomsman for the wedding so it's gonna be very cute you can tell i've been anxious i've been biting my lip a cute look I love that. I also realised I didn't bring any lip balm or lipstick or anything. I literally just have lip liners and my lips are so dry. This hand luggage only life is not for me. I 100% should have bought brow gel. Honestly, I'm, yeah, this hand luggage situation is never happening ever again. I can't. Not a low maintenance girly. Now that I've started doing makeup, I, this, is, this is the trap. This is the trap. I started doing makeup, I wanted to just apply one product and so now I have applied most of them. So now I'm doing mascara, which I actually didn't want to be doing, but temptation got the better of me. Maybe I'll just leave it at the glossy end though, maybe I won't do the full lashes. We are done. Do I dare take my hair out of this braid? It's stayed so frizz-free so far. I want to wear my bucket hat today and I just it down so let's see how this goes i literally kept it in a french braid from wednesday morning when we left i redid it once i think after a flight because i looked disheveled so it has this like nice kind of wave to it so even if it does frizz it's kind of it's, it's okay let's hope it stays this way the 
evening. I'm not feeling great today, so this is what we have pulled out the bag. I'm wearing my black swimsuit. I think this is an old one from ASOS. And then an ASOS long skirt, my Chanel slides. And then we're kind of accessorizing a fair bit because it's quite a plain outfit. So we have my Etsy starfish earrings. I will link these if you want to get your hands on them. And then my Monica Vinida little pearl and gold necklace and then minimal jewelry because my fingers are so swollen that half of my rings don't fit on my hands and i'm just we're not bothering with that and then i've got my dior saddlebag and my hair is in a little braid because i can't stand the humidity any longer it's been i've been outside for about six hours and that's as much as i can take so this will be my hair for the rest of the holiday the little leg ahead but we're gonna go for dinner now okay bye i recognize that guy <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah, it's really good. All looks nice. What did you get? It's like a dragon fruit. Like tonic. Oh. There was a couple of other fruits as well. Like, like, what? Got a watermelon juice. I love a watermelon juice. There is nothing that makes me happier. That's a lie, there are a lot of things, but watermelon juice is up there. We haven't had enough butter in so long. Oh no, I'm making this. Ooh. Oh no. Yum. Yum. I am yummy. <laughs> it's the Wi-Fi password. Your turn. Let's see if I can do it with my spilling it everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you probably can. Stunning. <laughs> That restaurant was so nice. We've got cake to take back to the room. Oh, vegan red velvet cake, my favorite. So we just ate dinner at the end of the strip up here and this whole street has loads of lo nice little restaurants. This one included, I really want to eat dinner here. It does burgers and they look really good and it's got this whole little bit here with shutters which is really cute as well. It's so nice. The rest of the strip is completely dark and something out of a horror film. We're literally walking home in the dark. Yo, what's going on, Paul? Mate, <laughs> <laughs> that took me a sec, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you saying? <laughs> yes, man, I'm here. We are you doing? <laughs> Good? <laughs> 2000 years later. Good morning. It's been a while since I last saw you. I actually, I have not been well. We do not need to go into the details of my unwellness but it's been a few days since we last spoke i actually have tried to vlog like little bits where i've been like able to mentally like pull out my camera but i haven't like actually spoken to you guys directly because i just i've not really been here in the brain in addition to not being well i've also been feeling like my anxiety has been at a peak like we were out the other night and i was just shaking like a chihuahua and ryan, ryan was like what are you okay and i was like no it's been a trip fortunately ryan's friend came to surprise him which you will have seen in the vlog footage and i'm so grateful for that because otherwise his time would have been really really boring when i wasn't well so that was actually really good but this trip hasn't been the trip i imagined i just said to ryan i was like this trip has been a disaster we had a whole day planned out today and we've just realized that we actually go home today so that's what's happened this morning i was just like there's so many places i still wanted to eat but i managed to pull myself together for ryan's show which was so much fun i'll pop in some little bits of vlog footage of what we've been up to. Wow. Why are you so tall? I think it's because I'm, I'm further down as well. It looks really cute. We're in. Nice. fun show and we got an amazing sunset yesterday which was so nice and went out for this amazing dinner at a restaurant called penny lane which was i think my dream restaurant like the best most gorgeous aesthetic restaurant i've ever seen in my life it was so nice if you are in is it kangu or changu because i we've been here the whole time and i've alternated how i'm saying it. I'm pretty sure it's changu. changu i don't know why i'm putting makeup on now because 
I am going to have to take it off at some point before we fly. This is dumb. So if you're in Canggu, I would like make going there a priority. The food was insane. And it's just like really good vibes, really, really pretty all at the same time. They have a little pool table there, which was lovely because Ryan and his friend like love playing pool. Like if Ryan tells me he's out playing pool when he goes out with the boys, I'm like, I will not expect you home for a very, 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 very long time. So we went there. I had, I had my first drink of the trip because I've been strictly on like bottled water and literally nothing else. I think the day of Ryan's show, I upgraded to sparkling water. I know. So I had my first margarita last night and it was stunning, but I was, I literally had to rein myself in after like a few sips because I was drunk. Yeah. But the food was insane. They do like tapasy bits, but then they also do burgers as well. And weirdly on this trip, I, all I've wanted is burgers. So a very wonderful cultural experience for me, obviously. But this morning we are going to go for some breakfast. I'm really lucky that we decided to get up early and actually go for breakfast because we've been getting up at like 1 p.m. We're gonna get up and go for breakfast with our friends because it's what we thought was their last day. <laughs> Unknowingly, it was also our last day. We're all gonna be at the airport at the same time. Yeah, cute. I didn't, I didn't realize that. So yeah, that's cute. We're gonna go for breakfast at the restaurant that we went to the other night called I Am Vegan Babe. <laughs> the name makes me laugh every time. Their breakfast menu looks really nice. I was eyeing up someone else's pancakes the other day and they looked phenomenal. So gonna need to try that. So after breakfast, I think we are going to come back here, <laughs> pack our bags and maybe try and squeeze in a little bit of lunch. I also need to, potentially go to a shop up the road and buy myself another hand luggage bag because I don't know if I got to tell you but the hand luggage situ did not work out for me. The hand luggage only situ was not stress free like everyone has always told me being hand luggage only would actually be. So I didn't realise like most of the airlines I fly with they don't give you a weight limit on your hand luggage. Emirates do. They do. They only give you one bag. You can't take like a mini handbag, although everyone seems to do that. So I had to like seriously rejig on the way here. And whilst they did let me on with it, it was kind of stressful when we then had to get off the plane and get on a different plane because I didn't know if they were also going to be a bit funny about the bag. So ideally, I don't really want to repeat that again. So if I can buy another hand luggage bag, then I might do that. I did have my little tote with me my one that I got from Illuminae event. However, it doesn't zip up. So basically it's just not ideal for getting on a plane with it and either putting it in the bit above your head or the seat in front of you because my stuff could just start rolling around. This trip has been a disaster in so many ways. I also was thinking about buying some more clothes, which I will now not need to do. So actually this early flight home has saved me some money because I've literally spilt stuff on every single outfits that I have worn on this trip and I'm so glad I showed you everything on before we left because I literally have not been able to vlog a single outfit because I've just been feeling absolutely rank. The lighting over there is also not phenomenal and I've not been able to pull together as many outfits as I would have liked because I spilt something on almost every single one so that's good. Also can you guys make me feel better if you've also had trips like this where everything has gone wrong please tell me the story in the comments. On top of that, I think my mascara is drying out. Outfit of the morning, <laughs> not of the day, because we're gonna be changing into some comfy clothes in a bit. So we have the Monday swim dress with my Chanel sliders that I just always wear. They're the only pair of shoes I packed on this trip. And then the Kapala, I think that's the brand, bikini, which I love. I'm actually so sad that I'm not gonna get to wear this around a pool <laughs> at all before we go, because it's just, it's such a cute, bikini very on me like style and shape but the color looks so good so yeah i will definitely be cracking that out again for future trips my hair is just in a ponytail i've been wearing it braided and slicked back a lot and i braided it last night so what i've done today is just put it into a ponytail and i think it looks really cute and it's a nice change and then i have my dior saddlebag my earrings i will link these i always forget to link these i've got the aurelia huggies and the huggies with the dangly chain which i'm just obsessed with and then i'm wearing my etsy big drop earrings just for a little bit of something you know and yeah that is it that is my outfit yeah this is what i meant about this area not being like really cute for 
outfit of the day so I've got like a fridge behind me. Stunning. Morning! <laughs> we have literally not been out this early <laughs> the entire trip. It's so weird seeing it at the 70. On our way to breakfast. This area is so cute during the day. It looks terrifying at night because there's like no street lights but so pretty. Hello. Oh hello. Do you know what I'm so sad about? There's a restaurant here called, is it Shaky Shack? Shady Shack. Shady Shack. And, oh, there it is on the sign. And I really wanted to eat here, but I, we probably aren't going to get the chance now. But I might be able to try it looks so cute. Here we are. We were in here the other day and we saw a chihuahua in a like baby sling. And it was the best day of my life before I got sick. I love the look of this shop. It just looks so cute. I love this dress. <laughs> <laughs> ready to go we've got a new giant hand luggage bag and this is my travel outfit so i've got the monday swim jumper my adenola white shorts and then i've got the matching trousers to this in my bag and then my little away suitcase i'm going to check it in for the way back just because it was a bit annoying on the way out ysl sunnies and yeah that is my little leaving Bali outfit I'm starting to feel really unwell again so we're gonna do a nice little montage of the route home and I will see you guys back in the UK let's hope we don't end up like the Barcelona to US flight mm -hmm. 